first saw Hurricane Elsa, we, uh, the original plan was to head down to Nova Scotia because they always get the better swells over there because the storms tend to end up going out to the Atlantic. But uh, unfortunately, a few people backed out and the plan kind of fell apart. So about a year ago when Corona really hit, me and Corb started uh, surfing because we had all this free time and we really, it was something we've always wanted to try out, but we never really got the gear and got serious about it, but we thought this was the perfect time. Pretty much what it was is we were going down to chase Hurricane Elsa in Nova Scotia because it looked like it was going to be a lot bigger than it is in the bay. But it ended up switching and now it's actually going up the bay, so we're going to stay home and catch the waves here. So right now the storm's sitting down in North Carolina and by fr midnight, Friday the 9th, it should be hitting dead on in St. John. Could be good. The psych meter is through the roof. Surfing in the Bay of Fundy, you don't get the most consistent or large swells, but this hurricane is going to give us a chance to surf something way bigger and way better. So we're probably going to head out around 6 a.m., check out what's going on, stop by a couple of the spots, probably Big Rocks or Gardeners, those are two of our favorite high tide spots. In the morning, the wind's going to be pushing hard onshore, so then around lunchtime, hopefully, or it should flip, go offshore, nice and gentle, shape up the bear skis. Barrels, that was a bad idea. <laughs> Day started at 5.30, got up, packed the truck, all the boards, all the wax. Good morning. Um, okay. What time are you guys coming up here? Now. Right now? Yeah, we're on our way. All right, we got Bob sighting. Strike me news and we'll All right, we'll see you soon too. Yeah, see ya. Man, it feels weird. It feels like there's no swell, yeah, but it yeah. is. Went, picked up Laggy, made our way, got some breakfast at Tim's. Uh, the bacon homestyle biscuit looked dirty. <laughs> I think that might be the play. Two homestyle biscuits, but on separate orders. Bacon homestyle biscuits. Bacon homestyle biscuits. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. We uh, went to Miss Peck first, and it was, it's usually a low tide spot, so. We expected there to be some good waves there at Miss Peck, but... Oh, it's kind of sucky, so we headed over to Checkers in Big Rocks, which is another good high tide spot. We were shocked because at low tide, that's usually not going off, but it was on. That's sick. So here in St. John, it's a fairly small surf community, but that morning was just crazy. There was nine or 10 cars in the parking lot. I've never seen that many people out, so I knew it was on. And by the time we got over the hill, you could see the swell. It was like nothing I've ever seen before here in the Bay. No. Way better than expected. Look at that. Go look at that. Waves are 
wild. For Holy July, God. you cannot be. No, nah, can't ask for more than that. That was sick. Man. Not even noon. And it's just been an insanely awesome day. And we're not done surfing. So, stay tuned. So the reason we went to Garden is because Big Rocks uh, got a little bit flat and the wind kind of picked up, which made it really choppy. So Gardner has a shallow bottom, which tends to make it cleaner and a little bit more hollow, which is what we're looking for. I'd like to thank Ox Films for being a part of our journey in this surf expedition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, also AJ and, and Hurricane Elsa. Oh yeah. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go get changed. All right. Successful day.